Category 5, that's what we have right now in Hurricane Lee. Explosive development for today. That's what the Hurricane Hunters found. Still looks good for us as far as not a direct impact here, but we have a lot to talk about with Lee, and we'll do that next. He has always been a good person, involved in politics in the best way, always with law enforcement. A South Florida mother is standing by her son after a judge sentenced him to more than 20 years in prison for his involvement in the Capitol insurrection. Their school security officer collapsed in this parking lot. His heart stopped twice. And what teachers did next could inspire change. I'm Larry Seward, and I'll show you why. This is CBS News Miami. And tonight, CBS News Miami is certainly tracking the tropics. We're keeping a very close eye on Hurricane Lee as it keeps getting stronger and stronger in the Atlantic. Here is how this massive storm now looks from space. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Barry. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. Tonight, Lee has been upgraded to a Category 5 hurricane. Next Weather Chief mm -hmm. Meteorologist and Hurricane Specialist Ivan Cabrera joins us now with the latest advisory. It I is going to be on a list, a short list here of hurricanes uh, in that category. Of course, we don't have a six, right? So now, hurricane hunters have found uh, winds at around 170 miles an hour at flight level here on the ground on sea surface. Uh, at the surface here, we're looking at 160 mile an hour winds. So obviously, Category five still moving west northwest. What has changed for us? Not much. Watch this cone here. Now the forecast of course has intensified a bit because the hurricane center is just keeping up with Lee and what it's doing. So if it's 160 now, there's really nothing in its way, nothing that would you know prevent it from turning into a 185 storm, which is what the uh, forecast is now. 180 tomorrow, then 175. It's going to maintain that strength over the next couple of days heading into uh, the weekend. Then we'll begin to see the winds come down a bit. 160, 150. 50. And that looks like a good sign, but when these hurricanes begin to contract like that and the wind field expands, and so when we have lower winds at the center, the wind field expands, so the hurricane force winds go out further and the tropical winds, tropical storm force winds go out even further. And that's why we're still looking at the islands here for potential impacts from tropical storm conditions as we head into not just this weekend, but heading into early next week as well. The cone remains the same. Very strong agreement with the model. And then that's why we have this forecast error here. The center of the eye could be here, here, or here, which is why we don't put that center icon because it could be in any of that vicinity, depending on what the models decide to do and what Lee is going to do for the next few days. Good clustering here, good consensus from the models at the beginning of this uh, track, and then they diverge a bit, but we're still looking for that turn to the right. By the way, that turn is still not depicted in the National Hurricane Center forecast here because we're just not that far out yet. So we we have to keep watching this thing. We're still feeling pretty good about this high and the storm system moving in between the high and a trough of low pressure that's going to be diving in across the U.S. That should guide it to the north. But where exactly does it go north? Does it go north a little further right or a little further west? That's going to be a big deal with impacts across the mid-Atlantic and into the northeast. A couple of the models that we look at, the big global models, the GFS, the U.S. GFS and the Euro in great agreement and then a bit separated. But again, we're getting into territory here where it's computer model driven and this is out 10 days so a lot can change here and that is the message for tonight this wind field uh, could get a bit closer to the southeast to us and you can see just how large this hurricane is going to be not just an intense hurricane but with the winds that are going to be you know propagating well out from the center of circulation and of course we have the uh, waves that are going to be you know coming on across the eastern seaboard